guys what's going on today is an awesome day I actually have some amazing content now we are going all the way past Calder Freeway we're going to some place called Weather Weatherby Hill or something like that some, oh, yeah. some weird name anyways we are looking at an oh, awesome hillside. JDM car sorry it's hillside yeah. Now, this isn't just any JDM car, this is a Nissan S15 spec R. So I've uh, got Derek here and John, I'm sure you guys are well aware of who they are from my uh, previous videos and my uh, girlfriend behind me here, just for the moral support. And uh, we're gonna be checking it out and potentially purchasing it and taking it home tonight. Yo guys, so as you can tell, it's the next day. Um, I actually ended up purchasing this bad boy. Everything in there is pretty awesome. Um, as you can tell, I just came from work as well, but pretty exciting stuff. I got it for a really good price. Uh, John is driving it for me today just because, um, you know, I let, him, I let him drive it all the time. You guys don't know, fuel is freaking expensive here. It's like a dollar eighty. I mean, I mean, I'm not giving a car with no fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so as we were taking car, uh, the car away, um, the guy, the fuel light was on, and he's like, "Man, make sure you fill up." And I was just like, "Man, you just burnt all the fuel." Just so, like, when he handed it to me, I had to fill it up, and he took the most advantage of it as he could. Um, well, good on him. I mean, I'd do the same. So, fair enough. Anyways, um, yeah. So this is this is it. It's it's absolutely amazing. It's it punches out big power numbers. I haven't had my first drive yet because I thought I'd just let John drive it. Three days later. I've kind of been off the face of the earth for, earth for a while. Uh, lots been happening. I started working uh, pretty full on, taking up like six, seven days. So now I'm back. I've actually earned a fair bit of money as well. And I've bought myself a new car alongside with Sophie. Now this car in particular has had a fair few mods put to it. Uh, apparently, apparently, it came for, the motor came from a really awesome shop. Um, they, were, they sold their S15 and this guy decided to take out the S15 SR20 motor out of that and put an RB25 in it. And so they sold the guy who I bought it from, the motor. And he put it in this spec R S15. And so now it's got a built motor, refreshed box, and it's running a single, single high mount turbo, which is awesome. It's a Kinagawa turbo, so it's a bit eBay spec. Woohoo! And this thing is absolutely freaking awesome. So, good on your eBay turbo, it does me well. Now this is, car comes with awesome features. It came with an e-boost too, so I can map between the high and the low boost. It came with a Haltech, and it came with all the goodies that, that you do want, like a turbo timer, and it's such a neat install. Oh, listen to this thing purr. screams out Sylvia. There's etching on the interior, there's etching on the boot and the rear bumper between there. And on the bonnet as well is the significant S for the Sylvia, alongside on the steering wheel, and uh, pretty much the spec, it's the spec R kit. So this car is really defined in terms of having that presence. When you get in the car, you know that this is a Sylvia. I mean, obviously because you've seen it and you can look at it and it says Sylvia everywhere. We've just reached our destination. Um, these 
this is the key here for the Sylvia. And uh, you are going to be driving it, babe. What are your thoughts on it? I'm excited, yet really scared at the same time. Because I'm not that great at driving manual. I haven't really had experience, but um, quite excited to let AJ teach me how to drive manual in this car. So uh, wish me luck. <laughs> not going to crash it, are you? Definitely not. Promise? Promise. <laughs> Alright guys, anyways, that brings an end to the video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I can't believe I picked up this beast. It's an animal. I'm kind of scared of Sophie driving it, to be honest. Uh, so Sophie, if you're going to drive it, make sure you don't hit that accelerator too hard because this thing is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Just the way the power comes on, the way the screamer executes and makes noise everywhere i don't think this is a, a perfect car to learn manual in um but i'm hoping that when you do drive it you drive it sensibly and i hope that uh my driving doesn't influence the way you drive because sometimes i'm not exactly the best driver in the world when it comes to being sedate and subtle but you can do it in this car thank god it's a little four cylinder and it does bring up a lot of torque uh anyways guys thank you for watching and peace out and i'll catch you in my next video which will be sophie driving the car peace out fam oh. Ow! <laughs> ah, i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> Is that your new dance, bro? Yeah. Love it, fresh. You like it? Love it.